hi guys and welcome today I will walk you through the open weather ABI and we are going to create a simple app where we can retrieve the current weather of any city this will be the end result of the app Before we start, we need to obtain an ABI key and in order to do that, we have to sign up. Since I'm already signed up, up the, the ABI key that is provided to me. remember remember you need to wait for 10 up to one hour 10 minutes up to one hour for your ABI key to be activated let's flip over to our editor as you can see all I have is just an HTML file in which I have a text box a div and a button inside the script file is where we are going to have the functionality Once the button is clicked, we want to grab the city name and by doing that, by getting the value of the text box and I also created a key variable to hold my ABI key with the Ajax I can provide some of the properties and the values one of which is the URL which is the only required parameter the data type the type of the file and the data data is very important as it is where we can supply the parameters for the URL they do have uh, different options as you can see here but in our tutorial we will go with the symbol one and that is just getting the current weather of today you can also get the city by name ID geographic and zip code but for the sake of the simplicity we will go with the city name The format unit is very important 
I will show you shortly and the list of condition codes as you can see here the units in that you can supply either imperial metric for Fahrenheit and Celsius the default is different which obviously you want to convert those the list of condition is codes that is supplied to us that will be returned and they do also have a matching image if you want to use them or create your own the URL is the endpoint and as you can see is here the type is JSON the data type and the type is get as we are getting something from there so one of the parameters is Q and with that we will supply the city name and the ABI key and also the units once we do that we will see if is success if a data is returned it is if if everything is okay we will grab the data from there the server and we want to loop through it however we don't want to loop through all of them we will just loop through the weather properties since most of the data I will grab it from that uh, array I will show you the structure of the JSON later on the video I am just creating this variable so I can assign whatever returned from the data to this variable so I can display it I can display it on the div show weather forecast one of the properties is called name and that returns the city name I want to show, show it in bold and also the icon match that exact weather of today as you can see on the left side I have downloaded some of the icons not all of them
this is an HTML entity that shows the degree sign a little rounded small circle and the C indicates Celsius since the units converts the the temperature to Celsius out of the loop I want to display the value returned to this div inside this div is HTML now everything should work fine oops let me see the console invalid should Ops, yeah, I got it. Instead of column, I put an equal sign. Let's see, hopefully, it will work this time. Yep. I will change the, the units to Fahrenheit so we can see the difference and I change the code to F to indicate Fahrenheit yep that's right okay here is the the structure of of the data returned the JSON and it's very simple very simple this one is not very complicated here is the weather which I use the main the description and the icon also the name which indicates the city that's it for now guys thank you for watching if you have any problem please let me know in the comment section then I will try to deal with that subscribe and like the video